711, destruction of property in progress. Destruction of property in progress, 12,421 Horizon Village. 12421 Horizon Village, apartment J. John. Oh, you cannot just go about if it's once or twice, you can say it's an accident and a coincidence. But when you have as large a p p population of murdered young men uh, in the streets of America, and they're all black uh, or African-American descent, I think there's somebody sending us a message, and we should respond to that message. Uh, this guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. Okay, and this guy, is he white, black, or Hispanic? He's a black male. They burst in, tasered the 68-year-old man, fired non-lethal beanbags at him, then Officer Anthony Corelli shot and killed him. We're being hunted every day. It's a silent war against African-American people as a whole. Paul say a police officer shot and killed a man Wednesday night. The shooting occurred during a traffic stop in the suburban city of Falcon Heights. An official said a woman and child were in the car with the man when he was shot. That's a, got a feeling that's about to happen. That looks like a bad dude too. To be honest with them. Which way are they facing? Police one, they're facing westbound. I think he may have just been tasered. If you are white and you working in a black community and you are racist, you need to be ashamed of yourself. You stood up there and took an oath. If this is not where you want to work at, then you need to take your behind somewhere else. Look at this, police brutality right here. Police brutality right here. Underground, underground. Target down! Target down! Seven King 11, shots fired, shots fired! An arrest warrant has been issued for the former Atlanta police officer who shot and killed an unarmed man last month. After being pulled over for a missing license plate. He used excessive force and was not justified. But this was an act of cold-blooded murder and an attempt to cover it up afterwards. With it.